Hey everyone, Spencer Jones here with Jones and Get Fit, bringing you our live cooking show from my kitchen. I apologize if you caught the first couple of broadcasts of this. We, uh, I have got a new phone over the weekend. Hooray for a new phone! But it's for some reason acting a little funky. But hopefully this one works. So, this is the Jones and Get Fit kitchen where all the magic happens, right? All the good stuff like making delicious food, eating delicious food. And today we're going to make something super delicious that's going to make your mouth water. This is a shout out to my buddy, another kayak angler, right, Robert Rodriguez. Thank you so much for suggesting this recipe. Actually, to be honest, it was more of a challenge because Robert said, I put out a call, what would you like to see me make on this show? And Robert said, hey, I would love some holiday pies. Holidays are coming up. Let's get some pies on there, ways to make them healthy. So this is one of the recipes uh, of holiday pies for you. We got some more coming your way later on, but this one is going to be a four ingredient. It's so crazy. It's so simple. A four ingredient pumpkin pie. Now, this pumpkin pie, I'm not including the crust with the four ingredients. I can walk you through how to make it. It's really simple. Um, it takes a little bit of knack, to, you know, a little bit of practice, but totally doable. Um, as you can see here, I made, I'm making two pies. One for Katie's work, and then one for us to enjoy, and, and all that stuff. So here's our pie crust. Our pie crust is really easy. This is a healthier pie crust, right? Um, as opposed to like all the butter filled ones, which are just amazing. Let's be honest, like butter crust, amazing. But this crust is healthier. It's still delicious and amazing. Not quite as flaky, I'll be honest. It's not as flaky, but it's still really good. What it is, it is one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, a half cup, for this is for one crust by the way, just one crust, is one and a half cups whole wheat flour, half a cup of oat flour, if you don't have oat flour, you take your rolled oats, you put them in like a food processor and like, I use my ninja thing, right, Zzz, done, yay, it's awesome, it's working. So then you do that, then you add two thirds cup oil, um, coconut oil that is, coconut oil, you could do unsalted butter if you wish, and but coconut oil is healthier, right? So then you mix it all in with your hands, get all set, you add a little cold water itself, so then just a little bit at a time, you keep kneading it in, a little more cold water, until you get it to a nice rolling consistency, roll it up, put it in your pan. Oh, it sounds like a lot of work, it sounds ridiculous, but it's totally doable! And you can check out the recipe by going to jonesandtogetfit.com. That's right, jonesandtogetfit.com. Look under the recipes link. You gotta scroll down a little bit. It's under a pecan pie recipe, um, and you'll find the crust recipe there. So, freaking amazing and delicious. Hey, Ron, thank you so much for watching. Pamela, you're watching. You are awesome. Edgar, thank you so much. Uh, Robert, sweet. Not gonna be uh, there for holidays anymore. Well, that sucks, dude but hopefully you're still gonna enjoy it like tasty food. So yes, Ron, I talk too fast. I'm sorry, I get excited and I just talk so fast. You just gotta keep up with me, bud. All right, so today we're gonna go and make this four ingredient pumpkin pie. It's amazing. All right, come on over here. Here's what you're gonna need. Now, I have a KitchenAid I'm going to use. Um, if you have a mixer like that, awesome, you can use it. Totally righteous. If you don't, you can use like those hand mixers, you know, zzz things, you know, hand mixer ones. That would work. If you don't have that, that's okay too, because you can use a whisk, right? A regular whisk thing by hand instead of the electric mixer or um, a stand up one like that. That is okay to use. You're just going to put a little more effort in. But think of the calories you burn whisking it up. You burn more calories. Yes! But I'm going to show you how to use a KitchenAid. All right, the four ingredients you need are. Pumpkin puree, right? This is pure pumpkin. No ingredients added. Pure pumpkin. Not the pumpkin pie filling. We're better than that, folks. Hey, Emma, thanks for watching it. Expect it in the break. Oh, you are, are you, Ron? Well, we'll see what happens. So you need pumpkin pie filling. I have two cans, because mind you, we're making two pies, two pies, two cans. All right. You are going to need one can of sweetened condensed milk. This is the only sugar in it, folks, right here. Sweetened condensed milk, what? That's all you need, just one can. Again, two pies. Pumpkin pie spice. I know it's hard to see without the light reflecting off of it, but pumpkin pie spice, I can read a little better there. So um, if you don't have this, you can definitely Google, it's like cinnamon, you have some vanilla in there. Um, what else, we have nutmeg, cloves, 
stuff like that's in this. Um, but we're gonna use the simple stuff. So pumpkin pie spice. And then you're gonna need four eggs. I only have three eggs because I'm an idiot and I can't count. But the good news, the fridge is right there. So we can find it. It's right there. Oh, crazy. Emma, uh, oh, it's Tally. Oh, hi, Tally. Thanks for watching. No sweet potato pie. Ooh, that's a good one, Edgar. We should make a sweet potato pie. Mm, mm, mm. That'd be delicious. I love it. All right. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to fancy this up a little bit. You do not have to, um, but we're going to make this a little bit fancier. I had to grab my extra egg. And what I mean by fancy is we are going to separate our eggs here so we can whisk up the egg whites. When you whisk them up, you get to froth them up a little bit. And it's going to add a little more airiness, a little more fluffiness, if you will. Because, you know, who doesn't like a fluffy pie? Um, to have a fluffy pumpkin pie. <laughs> I can't do this show. I can't. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to separate the eggs. You want the egg whites. We're going to take it off. Here my way. All right. So separating them now. Ew, I know someone, I don't remember exactly who it was, said, oh, you get an egg separator. And you could totally do that. Yeah, that works. That's probably faster than doing this. But this just looks so cool. Isn't it awesome? Come on. Oh, it opened. Never mind. Come on. No, it's being a stinker. It's shy for the camera and Facebook world. Oh, no. There we go. All right, that's one. Boom. So we got the whites being put in our mixer here. That's one. So all I'm doing to help separate is uh, bringing the yolk from one half of the shell to the other half of the shell. A little more in there. That's all we're doing. Cracking it, splitting it in half as best we can. Doesn't always happen, that's like three quarters, quarter break there. Try not to get any shell in it, that's all right. And just trying to get that egg white right over the edge so it falls in. We got one more to go. Almost done here, folks, with the egg portion. Now, as I'm doing this, whoa, shell fell in. Um, I preheated the oven to 425 degrees. Whoa, we got broken yolk. It's so sad. Ew. All right, I saved most of it. A little yolk got in. It's not the end of the world. It's going to be okay. So let me rinse off my hands. I preheated the oven to 425 degrees. So we're all set to rock and roll with that. So let me show you the coolness that's going to happen over here. Come on with me, folks. Join me in the journey. Ain't it fun? Whoa. Camera lens just popped up, or my uh, light lens. Here we go. All right, so you can see what we have here. If you're using a blender, right, we got these cool little whiskey things. I don't know technical names. Whiskey things. It is Edgar New Orleans. What did you say before that? Uh, from Texas. Oh, there you go. Uh, nice. I like it. Yeah, we need to do a sweet potato pie. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? I love that. All right. So, pop this on. So, what I brought you here for is so you can see, hey Maria, thank you for watching, the magic that happens. Now, if you're doing this by hand, you get an extra workout on. That's the real Jones and you get fit way. So you get buff, ripped, calories, you know, sweating out calories by cooking them. All right, we're turning this on. And we're turning it on about medium high right now. And we're just gonna watch carefully. Don't stick your fingers in. That would be bad. All right, we can turn it on high, a little bit higher. And now you see it's starting to turn white. It's blending these egg whites together. Turn it on highest setting here. Lock the bowl in, lock the arm in. We're set. We're waiting for it to froth up. You can see it's already turning whiter. Now if I stop it real quick, you can see all the air bubbles in there forming. That's what we're looking for. Again, don't stick your fingers in when it's running. That would be bad! It takes not too long here, but just a little bit of waiting. Again, if you're doing this by hand, it's going to take longer. If you're using a hand mixer, like one of the electric hand mixers, totally cool. Uh, it's still going to take a little bit of time. I just like using my KitchenAid because it's handy. All right, we're going here. You can see it's starting to get a little frothier yet. I think it's a little more. We're going to let it keep going. We almost want it to create peaks, right? So almost like you're making a meringue. Um, almost. I'll show you what that means. So you can see it's getting froth here. Yeah, you can see that. All right. Now, I know it's not at the peaking stage yet because it's not holding the shape when the whisk leaves it. Oh, it's starting to, though. You start seeing the little edges on the side. 
Now, if you do this by hand, it's gonna take, I said, a lot of work, a lot of sweat equity in this one, but it's totally worth it. Sweat equity, not only in houses, but in your food. Okay, so you can see that it's lifted up a little bit, right? It's starting to peak just a little bit in the bowl, a little bit in there. I could do more, but we're gonna be good right here. So you could definitely add a little more. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. We're gonna bring you over here again, back so you can see a little bit. Whoa, why am I so pasty white? All right, get over here. There we go, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eight whites, we're gonna put them in the bowl here. As I said before, you can do more if you want. That's awesome. If you don't wanna do this at all, um, you're just not feeling, this is a really awkward way to do this, but if you don't wanna do this at all, um, you can definitely put the eggs straight in there. That is okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, but this has helped add a little bit of fluffiness to it. Because, you know, we like fluffiness. It's so good. Okay. Our bowl is back in here. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Our four egg yolks are in there. Then you're going to add, now, again, two pies, right? So we're making two pies worth. One can of pumpkin puree, pure pumpkin puree. Not the filling stuff. We can use that same spatula used before. Get it all out. There we go. So we got one can in here. Almost. Almost got it all. You just want to get all of it up. Takes a little bit of work. Gotta finesse it a little bit. Talk nice to your pumpkin. Now, if you wanted to do this with your own pumpkins, you totally can. What I would suggest doing. Um, is Googling it first. Jump on the internet to find out how you can make your own pumpkin puree. Totally doable. You gotta roast the pumpkin for like mm, half hour, 45 minutes after I think you chunk it up. Um, you know, you get the skin off and the, the guts out of it and all that. Um, but And then you mix it up and you right, put it in your uh, food processor and put it into, or make it into your puree. But I'm not 100% sure. Haven't done it myself. I'm being very easy here because it's supposed to be easy, healthy cooking. So that's why we're using the pumpkin puree in a can. Um, what do we have? Hey, James, thanks for watching as well. It tastes better than pumpkin pie, but it's just... Hey, that's cool. I didn't know that, Edgar. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest. I've never had a sweet potato pie, ever. Um, so I'm thinking this is going to need to change real soon. Uh, Jester, if you're watching, uh, down in Louisiana, if you know of an awesome recipe, share it with me or anybody else. Edgar, if you know about awesome recipe, please share it with me. I'd love to see it. So, two pies. We have two pumpkin pie fillings in it, or sorry, not pumpkin pie fillings, pumpkin puree, and a one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now, this has a lot, a lot of calories, but the good news is it's going between two pies. And, ladies and gents, and, oh, I used my cleaner. Oh. It is our only source of, um, sorry, our only source of sugar. I can think and do this at the same time. Really, I can. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of calories. But it's okay because it's a dessert and we're all allowed to be sassy every now and then and have some goodness. And it's still not that bad because it's our only source of sugar. Perfect. Get that back on there. Now, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice. Um, that's what I like to do. Pam, you can just cut the pumpkin in half and roast it. Super easy to get out of the skin. There you go. So you cut your pumpkin in half. Assuming you get all the guts out, I would assume. Take a machete, throw it up in the air. Let it fall. Cook it. And then um, and run and roast it. There you go. And then it's super easy to get out of the skin. She's the one who helped who actually gave me this recipe. So you can thank uh, Pamela there for this amazingly delicious recipe. Okay, so one teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice, cause we're spicy. Boom, there we go. I say there you go a lot, and that's gonna be okay, because there you go. We're gonna put this down, we're gonna lock it, we're gonna turn it on, on a medium speed here. And we're just going to let it all blend up. Again, do it by hand, electric mixer. Great way of doing it. That would be like the smart way of doing it. Doing it by hand, be like, oh look, 
I'm so fit. Mm, I'm ripped. How'd you get so ripped? How'd you get so big muscles? And mu I was horrible. How'd you get so many big muscles? Get so muscular, man. Like, oh, yeah. Got my six pack. How'd you do that? Well, you know, whisking up pumpkin pie feeling. I don't know. I make this stuff up as I go, obviously. All right. It's already blended together. It didn't take that long. It took what? 20 seconds. All right. So we got that going. Just knocking all the tasty goodness out. Wonderful. All right. Now we're going to take our egg whites that we have here, and we are going to, oh, you can see, it smells a little bit, oh yeah, right in there with our filling. Now, the tricky part, you want to fold it gently and you don't want to whisk it, you don't want to like beat it to death, because that's no good. You just want to gently fold it in so it helps keep the airiness. Um, uh, it makes a little fluffier, a little area. Let me show you how how beautiful this looks. I don't know if you can see it in there. Mm hmm. Just folding and going bottom to top, folding it in. There we go. Oh, there we said. There we go again. It's happening again. Almost there. Just trying to get this stuff off the top. There we are. So, oh, oh man, this is looking. Good and delicious. I might even have a little bit extra. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh baby. This is going to be so good. Katie, you're watching? Thanks for watching. Can't wait for the wife to make sweet potato casserole. All these things I never knew about. I need to learn how to make. Robert, send me like a recipe or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Fighting a cold as well. This stinks. All right, you see how light and fluffy. You can see the air bubbles in there. It's so amazing. Okay. So now we're going to want to gently, so you don't want to ruin all the air bubbles, right? That's why we whisked up the egg whites in the first place. So you gently want to pour it in your crust. I made this crust a little bit before the show, then it was in the refrigerator. So we're set. There's one of them for right now. Move over here, gently pour it in. Easy peasy four ingredient uh, pumpkin pie. As I said earlier, if you did not want to whisk up the egg whites and you didn't want it a little fluffy or, or you know your arm gets tired or whatnot, that's okay. You could crack the eggs right in here. That is totally acceptable. If you wish, you can put the rest over here. But um, I'm just showing you another way of doing it. And that way you get a little fluffier. Get a little fluffier pie. Because as I said, who doesn't like a fluffy pie? They're so good. Okay. Let's get this off here. And there we can gently smooth it out. Make sure it gets all around the edges. As it overflow. This makes two. Perfect, about nine inch pies right here. There we go. There it is again. Now you go. Oh, amazing. All right, we're going to stick these suckers in the oven. So we're set to rock and roll. And that's, well, hold on. Actually, as you're throwing in the oven, let me clarify just a little bit. Your oven's preheated to 425 degrees. You put the pies in the oven for 15 minutes. That's one and a five one of these sides, right? So 15 minutes at 425 degrees. Then you turn the oven down to 350. That's three, five, zero, something like that. 350 degrees and let it sit in there for another 40, 45 minutes, right? So until um, you can stick a fork in it, a toothpick fork, stick a toothpick or a knife in the center and it comes out clean, that's when you know it's done and you are set to go. Take it out, enjoy it. If the crust gets too brown, you can put a little tin foil around it, that works too. Um, but really, it shouldn't happen too often. 425 degrees for 15 minutes, down to 350 for about another 40, 45. And you're going to be enjoying some delicious, amazing, healthy, four-ingredient pumpkin pie. That's it, folks. 
nice and easy. We're going to stick these in the oven and have a wonderful dessert. I'll take pictures of it later and post them in the Facebook feed. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our videos. If you're watching this on Facebook, head over to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Just search Jones and Get Fit on YouTube and like cooking show and you'll find us. Click subscribe. I would appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really would. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video. Tag someone who would love this stuff. Be like, hey, that looks awesome. Let's make it. Right? Um, Tag them below. I appreciate it. I love these conversations we're, ha conversations we're having back and forth. I know I talk fast, Ron. I get excited. I need to slow down. It's one of my things I need to work on. <sighs> stay healthy. Stay fit, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Have a healthy week. If you want to see me cook something, you're going to challenge me on making something healthy, I'd love to see it. Put in the comments below, message me, email me, jonesandgetfit at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic week. Stay healthy, stay fit, and we will catch you all later.